Hi, welcome back. In this little video, I'm doing a little retro videoing. I was down here two or three days ago, just trying out a little bit of long exposure. Now, I get out with this camera. I don't always do videos, but I will practice, practice, practice. That's the key to any success, just get better and better. So I thought, oh, I'll come down here, it's a lovely beach area, and um, <clears throat> there's some groins and some posts sticking out. I'll do some shots. Um, and I came up with these two, this one and this one. And because I didn't do a video, it's just my, my um, desire to you know, if I do some pictures, then what I'll do is put them on Instagram or I'll put them on Facebook. And someone said to me, oh, I'd love a print. Do you do prints? And I thought, whoa, is this my game upping? You know, so I kind of printed off a couple of prints. Can you see that? Of these two shots. So that's color and black and white and then black and white and color of the shots that I did. I was quite impressed with those. I thought, wow, it's actually come out really well. So, you know, what have I got here? Actual prints. <laughs> these are only seven by five, you know, <laughs> but these are the pictures that I took and they're printed off. Fine art, long exposure photography. So I thought, as a matter of course, if I'm going to start selling prints, <laughs> drop me a comment if you want a print. I might have to actually get myself a website with Squarespace. Oh my God. <laughs> Everyone you watch is using Squarespace, aren't they? If you want a video, if you want a website, go to squarespace.com and choose your bloody, bloody, blah. blah, blah. <laughs> They haven't sponsored me. Nobody's sponsoring me. But I'm going to go out and retrospectively do the video of those shots that I took. Oh, dear. Because it would be interesting for my own benefit, you know, broad daylight with my variable ND filter. Crikey, I just thought, did I bring it? And I'm sure I did. I'm actually looking at some serious um, static filters, you know, sort of an ND4, ND6, ND, all of those other NDs, rather than a variable. But the variable, it did the job. And, you know, it's... Can you see through it? Now you see me, and now you don't. Pitch black. Arr, Jim Ladar. We're going to take some pictures. Arr. So let's go down to the beach and set up. And I'll retrospectively take those two shots and show you how I did it. Hmm. So yeah, I clambered up on this rock here onto these makeshift steps. And I set myself up just here, looking out on the groin. And then a shot across across the bows so I think first things first we need to get the polarizer off at the moment I don't want to use the polarizer I just want the ND filter on so what I'll be doing is long exposure trying to set this variable around ND8 that'll give me two to three seconds um, and then I can just play around with that until I get a long enough exposure that the water is smooth as glass and I've got the right light. Right, let's have a look here. So we definitely want to go into portrait mode. Straighten it up. Let's get right bang in the middle. So I'll give you the live view. So if I zoom in, that's about the shot. Maybe bring it up a little bit of an angle. So that's the composition. 
lock that in that's what I want groins running down um, the center and and that post so can I focus in on that let's move this I'm actually going to focus in on the post that's that okay so we're all in focus the red camera <laughs> move that round don't need my spectaculars on right now because I want to look through so we drop that I've got my focus so I need to go into manual priority and I need to get my speed to we'll start with three seconds I mean it might just be too bright but I'm gonna go with f14 at three seconds I'm not doing a self timer or anything I just want to see what I get mm -mm -mm. too bright so oh yeah I, I turned the variable let's turn that down let's take a shot when I eventually get the actual settings I want it will be around eight seconds Manual priority. I have got five second exposure at F25. ND probably set at around ND4, maybe ND6. It's hard to tell on the variable ND filter because it doesn't give you numbers, it's just dots. But I'll do a self timer. And then we just sit back and wait. Five seconds for the exposure, five seconds for processing. I might just get in a bit too good at this. I want a little bit longer because the water wasn't that clear. So we'll push it to the eight that I was originally going to say. Let's see what this gives me. If it's too bright, I have to either turn the variable slightly or use exposure compensation and drop it down a couple of spot stops. Looking lovely. Oh, it's so nice. And then I'm going to take one more, drop it down a further stop. So I'm basically, when you do exposure compensation, you're dropping down a third of a stop. So I'm only pushing it to two thirds of a stop. So if it's on F25, it, it's not quite F26, but you get the drift. Quite pleased with that. And so I will do a little bit of post-processing, bring out the colours a little bit, and I'll present them now to you while I set up for the second shot. And I say them, one, one colour, and then transforming into black and white. It's very relaxing here at the beach, isn't it? So with that shot in the bag, let's focus on the landscape shot, live view for you. So the picture I took had the post on the left, quite, quite close to the left hand third, like so, and I zoomed in on the breaker like that. I think that's the shot, I don't really want too many of the stones if I pan it round to the right there. You'll see the groins and the stones, but any further to the right and I lose those two posts. I want the posts in the composition. So on the left third, I've got the post by itself. On the right third, I've got the post sitting in front of the rocks. I'll bring that around a bit. Shall I lift it up? Let's bring that horizon smack in the middle. Does that work? No, I don't. that's no good, is it? I like that. That's my shot. So now we just work on the settings. It's really peaceful here now. I came down here at two o'clock this afternoon because I thought if I get down here at two o'clock, I could do this little video that I did, you know, my retro video. <laughs> the 
place was heaving with people and quite right too you know it's it's summer and we're allowed to go out it's just a case of intermanual i've got autofocus i've focused in on the on the the rocks and i don't, I don't know what that is a breaker thing so that's my focus locked i've been talking about the nikor nikor 18 to 140 becoming my um, walkabout lens <coughs> and the sweet spot is f8 but I'm in manual mode and I'm running an f29 eight seconds I'm just gonna manually take a shot make sure I've got the settings right and as we did in the previous one we'll just test it I didn't turn the ND filter so I'm expecting this to be whitewash Because you always forget, yes, see, see what I'm having to put up with? Sheer incompetence. <laughs> Don't hire me for wedding photography, please. I will just reject you out of hand. Right, let's get that down till I can. The only way I can gauge with this variable filter is can I see the image through the eyepiece? And if I can, but just ever so slightly, I've got it dark enough. If it's pitch black, then <laughs> it's just not going to work. So this is shot number one. I'm going to test this out with a couple of shots. And when I'm happy, we'll see which one I display. <laughs> oh, rather good. Right, I've still got exposure compensation down to three stops from the previous shot. So we're reverting back to zero. No exposure compensation. All I want to work with is what I've set. ISO 100, F29, eight seconds and ND hopefully between six and eight. Could be 10 though, as much as that. I'll show you the scene in a minute. Oh, serenely beautiful. Just a tad too dark. So what the first thing to do, I'm on F29. I'm gonna drop it to F22. We'll see if opening the aperture slightly allows a little more light in. Oh yeah! He shoots, he scores, remember? That's enough of that. Really, that's it. Let me have a look at that image. I kind of like that. It's a little ski whiff. Should we fix that? Should we fix that? I'm a little ski whiff. Slightly off. Kilter. That should do it. I'm showing you all my pictures, all my exposures. <laughs> I'm exposing myself to you. Seagull flying right through the shot. Hopefully he won't appear in the image because he's moving, right? <laughs> it's all coming together. I love this. You know, in, in the past I've been doing this and then it'd be like, oh, let's do another half hour. Camera off. That is the retro video to the original two shots I took. But now I've got two new shots. Exposures, um, fine art photography. I can do all things, and you can do all things if you set your mind to it. If you love photography, get out there with your camera and just take pictures. I've got a new video coming soon, and it's the challenge that Mark set me, which is the black and white photography using his little um, Ricoh 500G. I had so much fun with that. You've got to catch that video. That's coming soon. In the meantime, thanks for watching and bearing with. See you in another video. Bye for now. Oh, I say bye for now. I was going to show you what I'm looking at. That is this evening's scene. And the DJI Osmo Pocket, as good as it is, doesn't zoom in. Otherwise, I would show you just there you would see the white cliffs of Calais.
Yes. Is it Calais or it's just past Calais? France has white cliffs too. That's there. You've got some sailing boats. A couple of um, container ships on the horizon. It's just so pleasant. But you know what? I'm going now. <laughs> Bye.